This year, Israel are sending Hobby Star with Made of Stars. He did have an original rock style song, but they have since revamped it and made it into, an, in their words, an R&B male ballad. What are you thinking of it, the revamp? I was very surprised with this. Um, when Made of Stars was initially selected, I thought this was an okay song. Um, I didn't have a great love for it, but I didn't dislike it. Actually, in, when I did a top 35 ranking, it ranked at number 20. So it was very middle of the table. I, just, I was expecting the revamp just to get a bit more production behind it, but I wasn't really expecting anything different. So when I sat and listened to the new version, watching the music video, couldn't quite believe it. You know, I think we're used to good revamps, but they completely changed the song. It doesn't sound like the same song, which is a very good thing. And it's gone from being my 20th favourite to my fifth favourite. And I'm I'm really stunned. I think Israel have played this very well. I, I wasn't, ex you know, I wasn't expecting a lot. I mean, I think they got very lucky last year that Golden Boy was so well received across Europe and I was very used to the idea of Israel go back to their old ways it's not gonna be that great of a song and oh we did prove that it was a middle of the road song but now considering this is also taking part in the second semi-final I'd be very surprised not to see Israel back in the final again this is you know he's a good singer he already demonstrated that but the song now is I'm I'm very stunned at the revamp this for me has got to be one of my most surprising revamps in a song and I don't think there's a lot, a lot to dislike in the song. I think the movement is fantastic. Its progression is there. It does reach a climax as well. And the message of the song as well, it, it's there. You know, I think this is, you know, the tricky thing with the ballad at Eurovision, as I previously have said, it all comes down to its staging and how they put this across. Because if you make it a bit too anonymous, it's just going to swallow it up and it's not going to do well. Um, but I think this is just, this just needs a very simplistic stage and it doesn't need anything too over the top. But I, I'm really stunned. I'm so happy Israel have have made an okay pop song into a stunning ballad. It's just, it's so beautiful. And it would be a shame not to see Israel back in the final this year because they really deserve it. From there, I would like Israel to be in the top 10 as they are in my top 5. Do I think that's realistically going to happen? No. I think there are a lot of ballads this year that, you know, there aren't that many ballads, but the ballads that are there are good. And we are waiting for Malta, which I think is going to be in a competing genre against Israel. And if the rumours are anything to go by, Malta is going to smash Eurovision this year. So I get the impression that Made of Stars is going to get a little bit lost in the final. Hopefully he doesn't crash and burn too far if he does get to the final. I would like to see this come mid-table, and if they can manage that, it's a success for Israel. They've done terribly over the last five, six, seven years, other than Golden Boy. So, I mean, qualification itself is a, is a good result, but I think, you know, I'd like to see them make it into the top 15. I would say I think this is going to come around the 15th mark in the final, and I'd be quite happy with that, and I'd hope to think Israel were quite happy with that. I mean, when the revamp first came out, I put on Twitter straight away, slowing down Mode of Stars and making it a ballad lyrically makes sense, but I miss the explosive power of the original version, but it's still good. And I still stand by my statement that I liked it was a bit bang and in your face, in a sense. However, this is now, for me, the dark horse of Eurovision 2016. I said it. This is the surprise one for me. I think it's going to shock a lot of people. Slowing it down has done it wonders. He came out when he said Made of Stars was going to be revamped and said we had a week to put this together so it was a bit rushed and we just had to get something ready for the final. Now they've had time, they can fix it to something that he's more comfortable with, it shows up his voice better, it gets the message across better, the music video with all the drones flying around and representing the stars is beautiful. I would love something like that in Stockholm. I think this is qualifying. Israel have started to learn what works. They've the last two years now, they've gone the opposite of what a lot of people are sending. Because last year, it was all about the ballads and the slow songs, so they sent something that was very atmospheric and party-worthy. This year, everyone's sending bigger, louder songs, and they've got something a bit more quiet and intimate. And I think it's going to do them wonders. I love this song now. Like I said, it's in my top ten, I don't know whereabouts, but it's, it's up there. 
I I adore this song and I I really want this to do well. Side note, Harvey is 29. He does not look 29 in the slightest. I am jealous. No, he looks very good for his age. <laughs> he looks about 19. <laughs> but no, all in all, I do think Made of Stars can do well and I hope it does because I do now really really adore this song. I oh, think, I've got my fingers crossed and everything for him. I, I think it just shows him off a lot better than the original did. Not that the original is bad, I still like it, but this is better. Agreed. And finally, do you prefer this over Golden Boy or isn't Darth still better? Again, this is a tricky one because I didn't get Golden Boy until Eurovision. It wasn't until that performance in Vienna that I really understood what people really liked in this song. Um, so Golden Boy wasn't that instant for me, whereas the revamp version of this is. Um, on paper, I think Think Made of Stars is a better song. Come May? You know what? It isn't even a, an instance of Come May. I think it's Come Five Years Time. Who will I remember more? Oh, and I'm going to say that I think I will remember Golden Boy more than I will remember this. Again, a tricky one. I think this is one that I, it needs a bit of time. We've only known the song for about a week, so it, it's difficult to say. But on initial sort of listening, definitely made of stars. Yeah, I'd say it's very, very difficult because both songs had an instant grab for me. They meant I instantly enjoyed both. But if I had to split them, and it's difficult because they're such different songs. If I had to listen to one, I'd probably say made of stars marginally. Because Golden Boy, I need to be in the right mood to listen to it. This, I can just be in any mood. You know, I don't need to be happy or sad or what. Whereas Golden Boy, I need to be in a good mood. I need to, like, have fun with it. Whereas, whereas Made of Stars, you don't need that. If you just want to listen to a nice song, this feels that quite nicely. It'd be interesting to see it as a dark horse. I uh, think it can be, and I would like to see it in the second half so it can go quite late. I think if you put it on near the end, it could do quite well. But we'll have to wait and see, because obviously it's well. They, they don't have the best record, obviously. They Last year was the first time they qualified since 2010. Granted, the songs since 2015 and 2014 weren't great. Apart from Mayfine Gold, the rest I didn't like. But what are you going to do? But no. no, good luck, Harvey. I hope it does well. And we shall see what happens. But I'm hoping it does well. And I'm holding on to that Dark Horse. Saying it now. <laughs>